Alright, so corn mozzarella. Corn mozzarella. Corn mozzarella. Corn mozzarella. Alright, shalom, brothers and sisters. Alright, this is Camp Leader, Elder Ezariah Ben Yosef of the group One Body in the Higher. Okay, addressing um, the systematic attacks and false accusations. Okay, because of what one group did attacking all the other groups is unwarranted and that, and I've been and I've been saying it and I, I'm glad um, Zabak has been getting out there saying the same thing okay this isn't a coordinated event by the government you know what I'm saying it, it you, you know they they push this thing okay I mean they're not doing this with the Christian church or anything okay when when or or any of these wicked groups or the Jewish people when they do all kinds of wickedness and evil the, the media covers it up. I don't hear nobody saying nothing of black men getting shot down and killed and missing and, 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 and be millions of brothers out there around the world that this is happening to every day. Okay? What happened to one sister is tragic. All right? We, we pray and, and, and um, we, we ask the Most High, okay, to forgive whatever the circumstances is, but it's wrong for our people to jump on the bandwagon and blame each other about a situation that they have, they don't know nothing about. Okay. And I've stated many times, I knew that IUIC was a, um, a, a wicked camp, but it, 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 it's not right to demonize an attack Okay, brothers who are in the truth, who are sincerely helping people, okay, and standing up for righteousness, okay, and um, I'm going to get some scriptures out on this, because, you know, we as a people tend to, um, we got this Willie Lynch program, and when we tend to attack and stab each other in the back, you see what I'm saying, we, we don't want, we don't want to um, turn to the Most High and ask Him to pray for our brothers or our sisters who are going off or bad things are happening to. You know, we got to turn to the Most High and, and ask Him to, to forgive us. You see what I'm saying? And, and not cause division. This is what our enemies, the Gentiles, and, and I'm going to get that out. Y'all turn to Psalm 83 because uh, even better, let's turn to Ephesians 6. Because this, this is on point. This is what Satan wants. This is what Satan wants. He wants to, he wants to, Ephesians chapter 6. And I'm going to start it with, um, with verse 12 here. That, that's what Satan wants. He wants to divide and conquer and destroy with the Most High through His awakening in Hosea chapter one, this great awakening, Ezekiel uh, thirty-seven, waking up the valley of dry bones, Revelation seven, man, dealing with the men, the Holy Spirit waking us up, man, so we can step up and lead. Not all brothers who are in this troop are going to do what's right, okay? And I ain't knocking or criticizing anybody, but none of us are perfect, man, and we need to understand that. So, I mean, criticizing and attacking each other, that, that's, not, that's not helping our situation, okay? You got Ephesians? Okay. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and read it. For we, for we do not wrestle with the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, Against the cosmic, um, against the cosmic powers, against the uh, authorities, against the cosmic power, Salakia, against, um, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. All right, come. On. So we're not just dealing with the white man. We're not just dealing with Gentiles. We're not just dealing with our enemies, 
All right, let's go to Isaiah. I mean, uh, Salaki, let's go to uh, Psalms 83. Turn to Psalms 83, daddy. Okay? All right, so we, we, we're not just dealing with Satan and these demonic forces that are in the world today who are pressed to destroy us. We got enemies. It, it's, it, it's like, you, you know, they, um, what they put in their programming, you know, superheroes versus the supervillains. We got our enemies. Come on, pay attention and stay on Psalms 83, okay? Stop your writing and just focus. You, you know, we have all of Satan's forces as well as our enemies attacking us. The, the last thing we need is our people jumping into the bandwagon. But that's, we, we, that's the kind of people we've always been. You see what I'm saying? Jeremiah and the prophets were bringing that out. Nehemiah were bringing that out. That's why we fell as a people. We kept appointing women, exalting them, which the scriptures tell us not to do. Okay? First Timothy chapter 2. I've been bringing that out. You see what I'm saying? Feminism is one of the main things in witchcraft, dealing with the, the, um, the religions of the, of the Gentiles and dealing with their ways. Okay? This is why we fell as a people. You see what I'm saying? And we can't, we can't be like that. Con? Con. All right, Psalms 83. So we wrestle not with flesh and bone, but we also have what? We also have what? We, 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 got, we got enemies, the Gentiles, at, at, at Edom, who are the biblical name for white people. You see what I'm saying? You got the Moabites, okay? You got the Chinese people. All of these people are around the world, okay? Which precepts Joel 3, how they conspired with the Grecians, white people, Amalek, all of that, the Jewish powers to destroy us. This is what they do. Psalm 83, the most high our power, do not keep silent. Do not hold your peace or be still, O most high our power. So in these hours of um, trials and tribulation in which we are being attacked, okay, we need to turn to the most high, not stab each other in the back. Con? For behold, your enemies, to let you know we got enemies. We as a people are not each other's enemy. You see what I'm saying? And when we go off and do what's wrong, we need to pray for those brothers that they repent. You see what I'm saying? And get back right with the most high, not tear them down and use this as a campaign to tear down what the most high is doing. That's blasphemy because the, the spirit of the most high, the Holy Spirit it is, is working within us. Don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Don't attack what the most high is doing. He's trying to build us up so we can become a nation again. And you bucking up against that, especially you women who, who, who are so naive. That's why men need to take charge, the right men. Okay? That's your problem. You keep following behind the wrong men. You see that? We got to stand firm against our enemies. Why? Because they make a uproar. Those who, have, who hate you have raised their heads. And this precepts Ephesians 6. You can read it for yourself. These prince and principalities, you know, you're dealing with Satan. Okay? Going back to Genesis 6. All right? And, and no, a third from heaven. Genesis chapter 2. How a third from heaven went to follow Satan. You see, they are the gods of this world. And our enemies, these Gentiles, worship them. And they're all... The whole world is in the legions. That's what the breakdown of Psalms 83 is. In destroying the children of God. And what they did to us, Joel chapter 3, putting us into slavery. Turning our men into homosexuals. That whole thing with Kevin Hart. Look at destroyed brothers like, um, what's that singer's name? R. Kelly. You see what I'm saying? Bill Cosby. All right, he's, he, he's going to die in prison. You see what I'm saying? We need to keep our eyes on the prize. As, 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 as MLK has said, okay? 
and they killed him because he was repenting of his wicked ways and realized that what? Read and do your own research. What was his last speech? He feared that he integrated his people into a burning house. That's what America has become. And if you take on the spirit of the white man and fall for their tricks, you are going down with them. Okay? We need to repent. We need to not turn and stab each other in the back. But we need to come to the most high. And we need, we need to unite as a people and, 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 and come back to our heavenly father, not stab each other in the back. All right, babe. You want you got something to say about this? <clears throat> come on, get it out. Yeah, we need to come together. Cause one person does, everybody is going to do the same thing. And it's wrong for people to judge other people because of what somebody do. Just like ourselves. Even though he don't own up to what he what he has done, and plus he he blasphemed the Most High, and that's what he's paying for. He paying for it. He said he don't need God. He's our killing. Like he's the only one that like he came up and born himself. That's why he's in the position where he's at. That's right. And this is what we need to stay focused on. The future. Okay? The enemy has a distinct plan of bringing forth the mark of the beast, transhumanism, all of these things. The RFID chips is not just going to be um, dealing with the barcodes anymore is getting to where they're using the surveillance and all of these things, they're heightening up, okay? All of this technology, so 5, 5G technology, read about it. These cell towers, it's affecting our bodies. They're poisoning our food. You see that? They're poisoning our food, and you got to check and see what's in the labeling. Look at your barcodes and all that. They're poisoning our food. This is an agenda to destroy us all. And, and, and Christ brought it out. A house divided cannot stand. So while you're bickering and fighting among yourselves, you are destroying yourselves. You see that? They're trying to um, turn all the men into faggots. They're, they're putting them in more into prisons. Okay, ever since the Clinton administration, while while these Uncle Tom Coons, these leaders who sold us out, read the book of Deuteronomy. Our leaders caused us to err. You see what I'm saying? Isaiah chapter three. Children became our oppressors with this gang violence and all of that. Women ruling over us. Our people had a history of betraying our our most high. You see what I'm saying? Giving into feminism and taking on the ways of the Gentiles, making women into queens and all of this. Feminism, homosexuality, all of this dealing with the wicked ways of the pagans. When we were, um, read Maccabees and all that, how a lot of us sold out. This is why we are under these curses. Deuteronomy 28. We must repent as a nation and come back to the Most High because he has shunned his face from us. You see what I'm saying? And all I'm hearing about is blaming men when a lot of you wicked women are involved with this mess, man. And you know it. Repent of your wicked ways and come back to the Most High and stop attacking the men, okay, that the Most High has sealed, okay, with his Holy Spirit. That it, and, and using them to wake up our people, step up as leaders, and bring our people back as a nation. That's what Christ is waiting for, man. The brothers out here like myself, we preaching and getting the word out there. We fulfilling scripture, man, because the Christian church ain't been doing it. They've been spreading lies and lying to our people and destroying our family, man. That's what they've been doing. You see what I'm saying? You, instead of backing up the right man, you, you backing up these clowns who are not even setting up a school. Not, not you, 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 clowns like Umar Johnson, who took all of your money, millions of dollars, and said he was going to set up a school. While brothers my, like myself are actually setting up a school, and you ain't doing nothing to um, um, subscribe, link, or, or send money. You see what I'm saying? Most High is bringing y'all down because of your hypocrisy. Change from your wicked ways 
and support the right people. Shalom.